Welcome back to the class. Due to some technical problems, we need to start another link because my mic doesn't work. I'm here today with the IELTS, and uh, I hope you guys understand everything that I say. And if you find some problems from studying, please message us on Zalo. The first word today is the word accumulate. When you see a when you see a long word, don't be worried because the longer the word is, the easier it's going to be for you to make examples. Here are some cases for you to use the word accumulate. You can use accumulate with experience. You can use accumulate with knowledge. You can use accumulate with time. Time here is not like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 4, 4 30, 5 45, for example. Time here, you can talk about the hours, of okay? the hours, minute, no, minutes, seconds, okay? And the last way for you to use the word accumulate, it is about money. Accumulate profits, accumulate profits, accumulate interest raise, uh, interest raise amount, for example. So here comes my first situation for the word accumulate experience. V and uh, V and who? V and Jonathan, please pay attention to the class because we need to study more English and we need to use our English 100% in the class. This is the first class of today, right? Let's start. Accumulate experience. I am, I, I can say that if I teach English, I only want to I only want to earn lots of teaching skills from many sources. I don't like learning from people because people nowadays are unkind and they are such liars. When you talk to them or when you ask them something about their job or the best way to study English or the best way to make money, everything, every Everything they, they are going to share with you is liar, okay? It's lie. That is why we cannot trust people 100% these days. Everything is going to be on Google. Google is the best source for you to find information. So for me, if I want to, if I want to, um, if I want to gain more, not, if I want to gain more experience, I'm gonna I'm gonna accumulate experience from many sources, from many sources, from many sources, such as Google source on the blog source, YouTube source, Facebook source, Instagram source, or Twitter source. So there are many online sources for me to gain more experience. If I want to, okay, if I want to. Uh, be the best teacher in Vietnam, for example. Accumulate experience means that you get more and more experience. Like today, okay, you get experience from Google source, but you find, but you feel like that is not enough. So tomorrow, so tomorrow, you are gonna gain, okay, earn another experience from other sources, such as YouTube. Okay, you are gonna watch lots of videos on YouTube for you to obtain the knowledge. Here again, I use the word gain more experience, means accumulate experience. Next, accumulate knowledge, accumulate knowledge. We have many ways to study English, but the best way to get English as quickly as possible is studying with human beings. Those are teachers. But besides studying with your teachers, you need to passively study and uh, one of the best ways for you to passively study is okay is online source and here you can say that you accumulate lots of online knowledge okay lots of online knowledge and here if i say that i accumulate knowledge it means today i study one one lesson tomorrow i study another lesson next day i study another lesson and next week i study other lessons that is accumulate knowledge one day one lesson tomorrow two more lessons so when you accumulate knowledge it means that you study more and more that is the word accumulate for knowledge next accumulate for time for example 
today we have many classes together because I want to meet you guys and I want to help you guys understand more about the word accumulate. I can say that I accumulate lots of classes within today. Okay? I use the word within. Okay, within. Within. Chum. And um, here you can you can only use the word within uh, for the time in English. Within today, not in today, okay? We don't use in. We don't use in for time. We use within for time. We use in for places. So I want to study with you more and I want to have lots of time for me to, oh my gosh, to study every, every word here. We have like 20 words you can see on the screen. So like I said that I will accumulate lots of classes within today. For example, one class in the morning, many classes in the afternoon and no classes in the evening. So that is how I accumulate hours within a day for me to study English with you. Next, accumulate profits and interest rate amount. Profits, Vietnamese, Vietnamese for the word profits, that is la nguyen. An interest rate, interest rate amount, interest rate amount, Vietnamese for the word interest rate amount, they learn. There, that is 1.4. 1.4, let's study together. If, okay, if I work in a bank and uh, I want to help you with some money because you need money to, to go study abroad, for example, or you need money to go to the hospital or you need money to buy something, but you don't have money. That is what I'm going to, to okay, I'm going to provide you uh, a loan. Provide somebody a loan. It means cung cấp cho anh một khoản nợ. So I work in a bank. For example, okay, we work in a bank. We have lots of money, and we know that you need a loan. That is why okay, we will provide you a loan. And and uh, one month you need to pay us. Uh, you need to pay us a specific interest rate amount. Whenever you get a loan for yourself, you need to pay for the interest rate amount. This is a rule for you to lend, for you to borrow money in this life. So when you borrow money, okay, when, when we borrow money, for example, when we borrow money, we need to, we need to pay for, when you borrow money, you need to pay for interest 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 rate amount this is a rule okay in this life for example you you want to borrow two hundred thousand thousand dong from me but you don't have money to pay me back this week and you say that you are gonna pay me okay next week so if you pay me next next week it means 14 days already that is why I need to charge you a bit of the interest rate amount. For example, you 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 owe me okay, you owe me two hundred thousand nam dong, and the interest rate amount is gonna be twenty thousand nam dong. That is the the interest rate amount for two hundred thousand nam dong. Yeah, that that is it. So if you work in a bank and you lend money, okay, and and you lend other people money. You are going to accumulate lots of profits next, okay? Accumulate lots of profits from weeks to weeks. Because, okay, this week uh, you accumulate profits from Mr. A. Okay, this week also you accumulate profits from Mr. B. Okay, lots of people, lots of people borrow your money and they need to pay for the interest rate amount. They need to, they, they need to pay for the profits that the bank requires them to pay. That is that is the word accumulate for profits. And here, guys, I'm gonna go to the word adapt in order for you to review before we come to the new lesson today. Adapt, don't use adapt like adapt. You need to use adapt with two, okay? Adapt to, Vietnamese, let me avoid. So here, you are gonna make yourself adapt to work, adapt to what? Adapt to, okay, like working environment, working environment. 
studying environment, studying environment, or living environment, environment. So here are the three types of environment these days. If you study, you need to adapt to your studying environment. For example, you study in America, and that is American studying environment. If you go to America, it's, it's very difficult for you to live alone because you need to take good care of yourself. You need to cook your meals. You need to cook your own breakfast, lunch, dinner. You need to buy your own medicines. And if you feel cold, you need to get yourself, okay, sweaters. And if your sweaters are broken, you need to buy yourself, okay, another sweater, buy your own money. So that is why, okay, when you live in another environment, you are going to feel very difficult. And that is why we say that we need to adapt to, I guess, our studying environment. Each environment is different. Vietnam's environment is different, like Ho Chi Minh City, studying environment, King Zan City, studying environment, Da Nang City, studying environment. Every studying environment is different from each other. What we need to do is we try to adapt to those kinds of environment so that we can be ourselves. We, we, we can be our best version okay, of ourselves and we can we can learn, okay, we can learn more to uh, get to change ourselves and to develop our mind. That is why we need to adapt to the studying, the, the, the kinds of environment that we are in. Here, okay, here, before I come to the next word, guys, before I come to the next word, that is the word determine, I need you to write, to write a short paragraph for me, okay? Paragraph for the uh, for the first word, that is accumulate, and the second paragraph for the, the second word, that is adapt to. And I'm gonna give you guys like 15 minutes to write paragraph, okay? Paragraph A, accumulate. You can choose to write about accumulate experience. You can write like accumulate knowledge from accumulate time, for example, or accumulate profits. And here, paragraph B again, adapt to, adapt to working environment, adapt to study environment, adapt to living environment. So right now, please take out your notebook and try to write two paragraphs. The first paragraph is about accumulate. And the second paragraph is about adapt to. I'm gonna give you guys like 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm I'm gonna call you. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call you. Okay, to send me the paragraph on Zalo. So right now, please take out your notebook and start to conduct a paragraph. 